Sa isang iglap, huminto ang pagpatak Ang oras sa mundo'y nabago, tumigil ang lahat Saan papaling, saan titingin Malakilikilipas sa dapit hapon, araw pa'y darating Sabay. Ang paglisan, pagpapago na hindi matatakasan 
maraming bagay na hindi na may babali. Pero kami Bawat metrong puwang, puno ng anino, init ng sinang mo'y madarma. Maalon man ang dagat, ang pangako mo'y di matitinag. Maraming bagay man sa amin, pwedeng mawala. Pag-ibig mo'y hindi makukulang Dahil sa'yo magwawakas anumang liko O taliwas itong takbo ng buhay ko Sa bawat pusong ligaw Sa isang mundong uhaw Handog ng amatuwing Pasko ay ka Naway matuto kami Umibig ng Katulad mong may malasakit Ang magmahal Nang tunay at walang hindi Kapalit Sa pagsilang mo Ang samo ko Maging biyaya Maging biyaya Magpapaalala Na Hindi ka Nag-isa Dahil sa'yo Magwawakas Sa numang liko O taliwas nitong takbo ng buhay ko sa bawat pusong ligaw sa isang mundo uhaw handog ng ama tuwing Pasko ay ka Pagsilang mo'y Dadalhin muli kami sa pagkakaisa Dahil sa'yo magwawakas sa numang liko At taliwas nitong takbo ng buhay ko Sa bawat pusong ligaw Ang pagsilang mo'y dala
Nais ko maging bahagi ng isang adhikain At mag-iisa sa gawaing makadyos at masaya Paglilingkod sa Diyos at kapwa Sa ikalawang parokya ng Pasay Kaisa ng Birheng Maria Our Lady of Sorrows Ituloy ang saya sa 
Salamat po, O Diyos, Ama, sa pagpapala mong lubos. Sa krus ni Kristo Jesus, na iyong anak kami tinubos. Sa patubay ng Espiritu Panal sa aming buhay. Good evening. Let us include in our prayers the intentions of Dominador Guzman Sr., Nancy Tan and family, Perwell de la Peña Santosildes Alegre families, Lourdes Clem, Father Joel Baguna SSP, Napol de Luna, Marisa Aboitis, Melinda Gao, Celerina Bernabe, Feli Kiambao and Kiambao Security, Rosita Dison and Daughter, Calumian Resources Corporation, Father Resti de la Peña, SSP, Father Ramon Manalo, SSP, Father Arthur Palisada, SSP, Joey Reyes, Jonathan Santa Ana, Daniel, Joya, and Joshua, the Dua, Corpus Trobada Families, Lucia Cassin and Family, All Victims of Calamities, All the Sick, All Frontliners and Healthcare Workers, Healing of the World from COVID-19, For the End of War Between Russia and Ukraine, All Persecuted Christians, All Victims of War, Special Intentions of Hamoy Family, Gonzalez Family, Dimaano siblings and family, Vergara and Melesio family, Elias and Shelly Cusi Lucena. Eternal repose for the souls of the following, Carmelita Guzman, Jose Chan, Choi Yuxui, Father Mani Ismael, Yu Xiaoming, Brother Hermes Sampaga, Lutgardo and Erlinda, Angelico and Estelita, Alfonso and Vlandina, Gregorio and Raul Jr., Corazon, Jimmy Alba, Landring, Karin, Manny Almendras, Jesus, Medina Tapang, Ricardo Jr., Ricardo Sr., Rosalina Marquez, Artemio Salamat, Marcelita Salamat, Amado Sarmiento Sr., Clarita de Torres, Quirino Landicho, Junisha Businos, Epifania Sita, Shehan Brias, Rosa Morales, Francisco Morales, Marites Morales, Joby Rabe, Vicky Fresco, Maricel Rodriguez, Felix Rodriguez, Ronald Bantay, Gertrudes Domanico, Arnold Domanico, Carolina Labaco, Bienvenido Llamado, Venancio Llamado, Remedios Morales, Epifanio Morales, Jose de la Cruz, Sosimo Morales, Maria Teresa Aristan, Carolina Evangelista, Felipe Evangelista, Marife Dayao, 
Feni Logenio, June Spirito, Teresita Aribe Nodalo, souls of all the departed Redemptorist priests, soul of all unborn children, for the lost, forgotten, and abandoned souls in purgatory, all who died of COVID-19, all who died from natural calamities, all who died from tragedies, all souls in purgatory, Maria Socorro and Marcelo, Arsenia, Apol Apolonio, and Jose, Lucila, Beatico Senior, and Valeriana, Adolfo, Dionysia, and Fema. Good evening, dear brothers and sisters. Today is the first day of anticipated Simbangabi. Our mass presider is Reverend Father Noel Magbanwa, SSP. Please, let's all stand. Ng masaya, kapuri 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today we begin the beloved and joyful Christmas tradition, the Misa di Gallo, or Misa di Aguinaldo, or Simbang Gabi. Masses will be celebrated in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For nine consecutive mornings, with the baby in her womb as the focus of every liturgical reading, let us prepare for Jesus' coming, for heeding Advent's call for repentance, reflecting on God's Word, and living the Christmas spirit of joy and generosity. Let us pray more instantly for the Filipino family and for peace in our country. We also pray for the youth of our country as we celebrate today the National Youth Day. My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. With contrite heart, together we say, I confess so to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, 
Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth is to be followed. Let us pray. Let your tireless grace accompany us, Lord God. Let it go before us and follow after, that in union with the Blessed Virgin Mary, we who long for the coming of your Son may be sustained by your love in this life and in the life to come. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. 
Thus says the Lord, Observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this, the Son of Man who holds to it, who keeps the Sabbath free from profanation and his hand from any evil doing. Let not the foreigner say, when he would join himself to the Lord, the Lord will surely exclude me from his people. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from propagation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus says the Lord God, who gathers the, the dispersed of Israel. Others will I gather to him besides those already gathered. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations and the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. The earth has yielded its fruits. God, our God, has blessed us. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. Lord, bring us your peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, You sent emissaries to John, 
and he testified to the truth. I do not accept testimony from a human being, but I say this so that you may be saved. John was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish. These works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. And welcome po sa ating first evening ng ating uh, simbang gabi. This is uh, a first for me sapagkat for the many years na nagdiriwang ng simbang gabi, usually hindi ako ang nauuna. Ako yung sa gitna o bandang huli. No? So first time ko po na mag-umpisa uh, sa nubinang siyam na araw para sa Kapaskuhan. Mga kapatid, sa pamagitan ng banal na pagdiriwang natin sa gabing ito, ating sinisimulan ang mga misang pasyam na araw na nubena patungo sa pagdiriwang ng pagsilang ng Panginoon. Inialay natin ito, itong mga misa sa ating mahal na Berhen Maria. In other words, this is the novena to Our Lady, Our Blessed Mother. Kaya nga po ang kasuotan ng novena masses are white. Yung isang sakristan kanina nagtanong, hindi ko naman sinagot, na bucket blue ang aking stola. Ano sa palagay ninyo? So kayo na po sumagot. Simbang gabi ang tawag natin sa ating misa sa gabing ito. Ginaganap ito mula ikalabing lima hanggang dalawang putatlo ng Disyembre. Misa di Galio naman, ang tawag natin sa misa sa pagsapit ng alas 4 o alas 5 ng umaga. At ginaganap naman ito mula sa ikalabing anim hanggang dalawampot apat ng Disyembre. Ano man ang tawag natin sa mga misang ito, ito ay isang mahalagang tradisyon para sa ating mga Pilipino kapag malapit ng sumapit ang Kapaskuhan. Kahit saan mang panig ng mundo na may presensya ng mga Pilipino, ang tradisyong ito ay daladala natin at ipinagdiriwang. Minsan nga, yung mga foreigners o ang mga ibang nationalities call us crazy. Bakit? Sabi nila, bakit kayo magigising na umaga pagkatapos pupunta sa trabaho. Hindi ba nakakapagod iyan? But of course, some of them observe na pag sa trabaho, inaantok na ang mga Pilipino. Pero when we invite them to join in our craziness, in our celebration, doon nila napahalagahan ang ating tradisyon. Kaya nga ang iba, I'm sure in my experience when I was in Australia, pag naka-celebrate sila ng Simbang Gabi o Misa de Galio together with the Filipino community, ay talagang pagdating ng December, inahanap-hanap na rin nila. And this also somewhat Uh, gave them the inspiration for the renewal of their own spirituality. Sa unang gabi ng ating nobena para sa Pasko, 
narinig natin ang patutuo ni Jesus sa mga Hudyo tungkol sa kanyang sarili. Bilang anak ng Diyos, nababatid niya ang dakilang kalooban ng kanyang ama. Kaya ito yung kanyang pakay kung bakit siya dumating sa daigdig. At bilang tanda ng kanyang pagdating, itinukoy ni Jesus ang kanyang pinsang si San Juan Bautista bilang isang naningas na ilaw na nagniningning sa kadiliman ng kasalanan. Sapagkat alam naman natin na si San Juan Bautista ay nagpahayag ng isang binyag ng pagsisisi at pagbabalik loob sa paghahanda ng daraanan ng Panginoon. Upang mas lalo nating maunawaan ang patutuo at patunay na Yesus, allow me to share with you ang sinulat ng isang nangangalang si Rico A. Villarreal, Villarreal. Ayon sa kanya, may tatlong puntos ang makikita nating mga patutuo o patunay. Una, si San Juan Bautista. Si San Juan Bautista ay naging liwanag para sa atin. Sa pamamagitan ng kanyang pangangaral at pagbibinyag, ang bawat tao ay nagiging handa sa pagdating ni Jesus. Sa kanyang pangangaral, paulit-ulit niyang sinasabi na talikda natin ang ating mga kasalanan. Tayo mga Kristiyano ay dapat maging handa sa kanyang pagdating sa pamamagitan ng paglilinis ng ating kalooban at pagsisi sa ating mga kasalanan sa pamamagitan ng sakramento ng pakikipagkasundo. Kaya nga, congratulations noong nag-attend o nag-avail ng Sacrament of Reconciliation noong lunes a 12 ng Disyembre na kung saan mayroon tayo ditong kumpisalan sa parokya. Tayo sa pamamagitan ng binyag ay nagiging ganap na kaisa ng simbahan. At sa pamamagitan nito, tayo rin ay may tungkuling gumanap sa ating misyon na magpahayag ng salita ng Diyos. Katulad ni San Juan Bautista, tayo ay dapat manindigan nang kung ano ang tama. We should always stand for what is the truth and what is right. Pangalawang patutuo o patunay ang mga gawa ni Jesus. Ang mga gawa na ito ay napapatunay na siya ay sinugo ng Diyos Ama. Sa pamamagitan ng ministeryo ni Jesus dito sa lupa, ay ating naramdaman at naranasan ang kanyang kabutihan. Kaya nga sa mga ipinamalas niya sa atin, tayo ay umasa sa kanyang pagdating. Ang bawat kristyano sa pamamagitan ng kanyang binyag ay nakakiisa ni Kristo sa kanyang ministeryo. At pangatlo, ang ating pananampalataya. Ito ang nabibigay sa atin ng kahulugan sa mga patutuo o testimonya ni Jesus at ni Juan Bautista. Sa pamamagitan ng pangangaral ni Juan, tayo ay sumasapalatayang darating ang Panginoon sa ating buhay. Sa pagbubunyag ni Jesus ng kanyang sarili, sa pamamagitan ng kanyang pampublikong ministeryo, tayo ay tumutugon din ayon sa kanyang sa ating pananampalataya. Ang ating pong pananampalataya ay hindi lamang isang intellectual ascent, kundi pagtatalaga ng ating sarili kay Yesus sa gawain kabutihan at pakikiisa sa simbahan. Tayo mga katoliko, ay may tungkuling suportahan o itaguyod ang ating simbahan. Tumutugon tayo sa panawagan ni Jesus 
sa pamamagitan ng paglalaan ng ating sarili sa mga gawain ng ating simbahan. Katulad na rin bawa ng mga mag-asawa, kayo ay may pananampalatayang katuliko at dapat ibabahagi ninyo ito sa inyong mga anak at ipamulat sa kanila ang ating katulikong edukasyon o katisismo. Kaya nga ang minsay ngayong pasimula ng ating Christmas Novena ay ang pagiging mabuting saksi para kay Kristo. Alam po natin ang kwento ng unang Pasko na narinig natin at palagi nating maririnig nito mga dumating, darating na banal na araw ng Kapaskuhan. Subalit patuloy na umiiral ang pag-ibig ng Diyos kahit sa mga taong hindi pa siyang lubos na nakilala at pinananiwalaan. Naway, maging katulad tayo ni San Juan Bautista, nahaya ang magningning ang ilaw ng liwanag ng Diyos sa ating buhay upang ipasa natin ito sa ibang tao. Sa kapaskuhan na ito, tayo ay magpatutuo kay Kristo sa pamamagitan ng ating pakikipagkasundo at pagpatawad ng ating mga kaaway at makibahagi sa ating mga kapwa na nangangailangan. Palaala ni Bishop Abit Oy ng Tagbilaran Bohol, Real Witness o Real Witnesses for Jesus do not just observe people in need, they help. Ibig sabihin, huwag lang tayong titingin-tingin at mag-observe. Rather, we have to do it in our action. Sabi nga ni St. James sa kanyang letter, How could we be Christians or how could we help others if we only say, Go, eat well, and be dressed up well? Would it mean something for those who are in need? My dear friends, ito ang panawagan sa atin ng Panginoon. Ito ang panawagan ng ating paghahanda sa pagdating ng Panginoon. Harinawa na tayo ay maging handa sa kanyang pagdating sa panahon ng Kapaskuhan. We now stand to profess our faith, I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And, and I, I look forward, forward to, the to the resurrection of the dead, and the life, and the life of the, the world, world to come. come. Amen. Prayer of the Faithful 
Let us pray to our Heavenly Father that reflecting the light of the Lord Jesus, we may also become like lighted lamps for men and women, as John the Baptist was. With confidence we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a church, we may celebrate the Misa de Gallo with praise and thanksgiving to God for the gift of faith and our love and devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. May our government and church leaders work towards helping our country rise above the evils of corruption, division, and violence. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May families, communities, and the whole nation work for goodwill and reconciliation as we all prepare for the Lord's coming with peaceful and joyful hearts. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That every Misa de Gallo in which we participate fill us with joy and peace and that we may share them with every person, the desperate, the lonely, and the unforgiven, that they too may experience the joy of Christmas. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that the faithful departed may find pardon and peace, and may be numbered among the saints in heaven. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions. And for these intentions, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. As we prepare for the coming of your Son as man, lift our minds in watchful hope and in fervent prayer, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us thank our Mass sponsors for tonight's Mass. 
who lighted the third Advent candle, Barangay Council of Barangays 5 and 6, headed by Cap Bella Kisiel and Cap Pablita Logro. Pray, my Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. God of our strength, in you is our hope and salvation. As we present these gifts, Renew your joy within us and make us a living sacrifice of praise. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles that the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and, and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer an exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, and Jose, our Cardinal Archbishop, all the bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember in a special way, O Lord, the members of our families, our relatives and our friends, and the members of our parish, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mater Dolorosa de la Pita, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Cristo, Kasama niya at sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos amang makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Magpasawalang hanggan. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we lovingly dare to say. Deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, for the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles and to each and every one of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold Jesus, the only begotten Son of the Father, who was born of the Virgin Mary. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Let us pray. 
O God, we have received in word and sacrament the one who is coming, John the Baptist, urgently announced by the presence of Christ among us, reform our lives and give us courage to announce in the world that your kingdom is near. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. At the start of the Christmas novena, the church in the Philippines celebrates the presence of the youth. Magkakaroon po tayo ng second collection for the youth apostolate. Maraming salamat po. Mga patalastas, Christmas novena schedules. Sa paghahanda para sa Pasko, ito po ang mga novena mass schedules. Simbang gabi, 7.30 ng gabi. Simula December 15 hanggang December 23. Pisa de Gallo, 4.30 ng umaga. Simula December 16 hanggang December 24. Cultural Center of the Philippines, Misa de Aguinaldo, alas 5 ng umaga. Simula December 16 hanggang December 24. Ang lahat ng mga misa online ay para sa mga may sakit at OFWs, pero ang lahat ay inaanayahan na dumalo ng face-to-face -face sa mga misa ng parokya. Christmas Gift Giving, Annual Rice Gift Giving, gagawin po natin sa January 8, Pista ng Epiphany, huling araw ng Pasko. Pwede po kayong magbigay ng cash or in-kind sa opisina ng parokya, bukas simula alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 4 ng hapon, araw-araw. Parol para sa parokya. Ang mga parol na gawa sa kapis na gagamitin sa Christmas decoration sa loob ng simbahan ay available po for sponsorship. 500 pesos po ang sponsorship sa bawat parol. Tumulong po tayong punuin ng parol ang ating simbahan para sa isang masayang Pasko. Ilalagay ang pangalan ng sponsor sa bawat parol. Ang malilikom na pera ay gagamitin sa construction renovation fund natin. Church renovation. Patuloy po ang mga pagpapagawa sa dambana. Malapit ng matapos ang dalawang confessional consultation rooms. Ang renovation ng altar, stairway to Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta, at bagong tabernakulo ay mayroon pa pong payables na 2 million pesos. Makipag-ugnayan po sa mga messenger account ourladyofsorrows.parish para sa inyong donations at ang love offerings. Ang ating Metrobank account ourladyofsorrowsparish 291.7.291.8223 Available na po ang mga copies ng 2023 Simbahay Filipino Bible Diary. 2023, 365 Days with the Lord Bible Diary. 2023 Devotional Calendar. 2023 Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta Wall Calendar at Pandasal. Marami pong salamat. Yung ati pong parol for sponsorship ay available po doon sa likod. Hanapin na po ninyo si Sister Mercy. Uh, thank you very much sa inyong lahat na dumalo ngayon sa unang araw o unang gabi ng ating simbang gabi. Thank you rin sa choir, sa ating mga sacristans, sa ating... Ministers, lay ministers, and selectors and commentators. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you. His favor and give you His peace. 
And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist has been offered. Go, have a nice and wonderful night, and take the love and the Lord of the Lord with you. Amen. Amen. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Sorrows, F.B. Harrison, Pasay City, mula sa mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya, mula sa Sambuhay TV Unit ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, salamat po. God bless you. Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta cares for you. Thank you.